Hey everyone, and um, welcome back to another video. A little bit different today, um, we're going to be doing something kind of fun. Um, a few of you have been asking for like makeup-y kind of videos, hi Coop, um, recently, and I thought I'd do something a little bit creative, because as you might have seen if you follow me over on Instagram, I've been doing a lot of photos and like kind of shoots and stuff with Johnny recently, and kind of trying to do really creative stuff with it, and playing around with cool makeup and looks and stuff. We did an amazing vampire themed one for Halloween, we did a Joker and Harley Quinn themed one, which I did both of our makeups for, we did this amazing kind of gothic -y dark makeup look, and recently I've been wanting to do something a little bit more abstract and crazy and wild and I found these amazing like makeup looks on Pinterest that are kind of like abstract brush strokes and stuff like this and um, I think they're really really cool and we're going to be taking inspiration from these and trying to create something like this on at least one of my eyes today depending on how well it goes we might try and do a full face I'm not sure but <laughs> we're going to be trying something like this and just kind of having a chat as we do and a bit of a talk about kind of like where I'm at with like life and creating videos and just kind of like, I don't know, seeing where we end up. What I think I'm gonna be using mostly throughout this video, especially for the eye look, is this little Revolution um, SFX Ultimate Face Paint Palette, which is literally kind of like a, I'm just trying to cover the mirror so you don't like see my PlayStation in the background. Um, <laughs> it's, it's literally like decent quality face paint type stuff but it's long lasting, long wearing, it's really good, amazing colours. I'm going to be doing something kind of fun with this and seeing how it goes. As always everything I'm using as far as I know and as far as the research I've done is cruelty free. I think most of it is vegan as well so that means it's not tested on animals and doesn't use any animal products to make which is really really important to me when it comes to makeup. I think it's one thing to justify I guess killing or harming animals for the sake of eating and another to do it for your looks, you know? When it's something that isn't a necessity, I just can't quite get on board with it. I already have a hard enough time with eating meat. As much as people criticise me for not being like full on vegan, um, I do have quite a low meat and low animal product diet, um, but I already struggle to get enough protein, so I can't fully commit to it. Um, so because I'm not doing like a full proper um, makeup look for a shoot or anything, long wearing or long lasting today, I'm just going to use a really really um, thin light base on my face. Um, this is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil, which is a product I've recommended to lots and lots and lots of people in my life, including my sister-in-law, um, because it's a really really nice light wearable kind of skin coverage type thing, if that makes sense. It's really good for just daily use because um, it's thin enough that it doesn't really look like you're wearing any makeup, but at the same time it just gives you a little bit more coverage and um, gives you a bit more of an even skin tone than wearing nothing at all, you know? I don't really want to start a whole like vegan debate with this video though, or by mentioning the thing about liking wearing um, cruelty free makeup, because honestly I find that stuff exhausting and I don't know, I don't know what more there is to say. Like yes, I fully agree with the vegan argument and if I was in a better place with my life and kind of being ethically perfect was my only priority then yeah I'd be on board with it sure but that's not my priority right now. Right now my priority is making sure I eat anything and get enough and basically survive. I had a lot of issues with food in the past and sometimes just eating anything at all is, I don't want to say a struggle but yeah, struggle. I don't know, restricting myself even more in a lot of ways can be quite harmful. If someone asked me from like a purely objective standpoint to try and, I don't know, argue against veganism, I'm not sure that I could, but I'm not objective. I'm a person with my own kind of health and needs and everything. I'm also a person with a dog who wants to play, aren't I? Yes, do you wanna give me this ball? Do you want to give me the ball? Where's my little pickle? Abu, abu. Love you. Such a bean. All right, now I've got a basic little base on there. I think I'm just gonna start building up some colors around. I think we're gonna start with the eyebrows, actually. I think that could be quite a good thing. I think I'm gonna take some, um, I guess, inspiration from this blue and white one here. Kind of see how it goes. 
Okay, so this is quite full coverage, this, um, I guess call it face paint. Um, so I guess we're just going to kind of go for it and see. I want to kind of be quite free and not too controlling with these brush, these brush strokes, I think, which might be quite hard for me. When it comes to like painting on a canvas and stuff, I'm very, very happy to just kind of be free and go a bit crazy and a little bit wild. But when it comes to my face, I find that a lot more difficult and I like to be quite controlled and sort of held back a bit, if that makes sense. All right, I'm looking for a smaller, slightly more angled brush now. Ooh, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I love this. You're a pickly one. I'm not sure whether to like fill my brow in and then add random strokes in afterwards or just try and do it all in random strokes. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys don't mind a change of pace today. I was just getting a little kind of weighed down by a lot of things. I just wanted to mix things up a bit. I guess I'm attempting to do something here that looks a little like cross hatching, but who knows. And something here that kind of looks like a wing but not. Ooh, okay, so this is a gorgeous color. I'm just trying to make it slightly darker at this point. Okay, I actually really like this. I think I am gonna try doing the other eye as well, but not symmetrical, which is gonna be kind of diff difficult. Because how do you purposely not make something symmetrical, but still have it look matching? I guess, tell you what, we'll go in with the blue first on the wing, because the one thing I do want... Sorry, I'm just hitting the mic. And the one thing I do want to match is kind of this slight winged look with the blue. So we can work everything out from there. I guess we'll get under the eye for this one. And then maybe add some white up on the lid up here. So that's cool. I just kind of dragged it, and now you get the really cool brush strokes. That's really cool, I like that a lot. I'm actually gonna continue this and bring it all the way up into the brow. Okay, now back with the blue, and let's finish off this brow. So yeah, I've been having a lot of kind of like issues with like self-doubt and stuff recently, especially when it comes to my work and everything. I think I, I definitely go through stage with this quite a lot and I assume other kind of people do who are in similar roles and positions to this. Um, it's always a worry, especially when you have such a big audience and they're all kind of like talking to you directly. Like, I don't know how the bigger creators do it, I'll be honest, but they all kind of like, you know, they can talk to you directly and they do. And no one holds back anything and they all let you know how they think. And I think the hardest thing that I'm struggling with is it goes through stages where, like, no matter how well you mean with certain things, there's always some people out there who just assume the worst of you, or at least... I don't think they necessarily want to see the worst, but they can't help it, and they assume the worst, and they just assume you go into everything with, like, bad intentions or something. And I, I understand why they might feel like that, because sometimes you see people and you're like, damn, well, they had bad intentions. Maybe everyone in this kind of position does, or... I don't know, I don't know, it's very hard. It's difficult to explain. It's difficult as well in positions like this because, like, sometimes people will make assumptions where, like, if you don't make a video on a certain topic at a certain time, people are like, well, you must not care. Or or people ask for videos on certain topics and then when you make it, other people are like, oh, I can't believe you did that, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, people beg for videos for ages and then when you do them, they're like, a whole other bunch of people is like, oh, I can't believe you're still doing this, blah, blah, blah. And it, it's very, very difficult because you don't always know, like, how to win, you know? I'm also having a big struggle at the minute in the, like, apartment complex I live in because um, me and Coobs were away for a bit last week. We went to stay in hall with Johnny, but while we were away, there was all this drama, right, with someone not cleaning up after their dog in the garden. And then after that, this guy went on this huge rant. I'm sorry, my... my Thoughts are all over the place today, you'll have to bear with me if this makes no sense. Um, like jumping from one topic to another. But anyway, there was this whole thing. And yeah, then this guy went on this huge rant about how he hates living in a dog-friendly apartment, even though this is one of the only like dog-friendly apartment complexes in Leeds. So everyone was like, well, if you didn't want to be around animals, why'd you move here? You could have gone literally anywhere else and 
blah 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 and now there's like this whole thing and loads of people are angry on the like Facebook group and I don't always but also a lot of people are making jokes about it and because I'm me oh could be dude that was a grumble and um, because I'm me I don't always know what's a joke and what isn't and I'm very kind of like nervous and self-conscious now about going like anywhere in the building with Kyra and it's kind of freaking me out a lot <laughs> and it's making it very kind of uncomfortable and unpleasant and you guys know I have like crazy social anxiety issues and last night um someone like posted this whole thing on the Facebook group like shaming one of the other dog owners saying they didn't clean up after their dog and they like took a photo of them from the balcony and Apparently the owners did clean up after their dog, so there was like no reason to even do it and no reason to shame it. But then I was like, oh my god, like, even if this was a joke or it was meant as a joke, now you've got people taking photos of each other from their balconies and like, if I go take Kyra out, like, what if someone takes a photo of me for a joke? And that just makes me really like paranoid and upset and worried because social anxiety. And it freaks me out a little bit. And um, I was having a really bad day the other day and I cried in the garden. And after I saw that Facebook post, I was like, oh crap, like, what if someone saw me crying? What if someone took a photo of me crying in the garden? Um, I couldn't help it, it just came out. There were tears, I was sad, I was overwhelmed. Um, and I was like, what if they did that and then they mocked me? And now I'm kind of like feeling freaked out in my own home. So, I'm going through a lot of the minute, there's a lot of feelings. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm loving how this makeup is coming together. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in real life, this is really, really cool. It is very out there. It reminds me a lot of, I don't know if any of you guys watch this when you're younger, but The Tribe. Oh my God, I was obsessed with The Tribe. I've literally, don't judge me, I've literally just finished watching all five seasons again on Amazon Prime and it, oh, it lives up. It's amazing. It's so cheesy and camp and cheesy. Um, and some of the acting is really terrible, but also it's wonderful and fun and very creative and I really love it. And I always loved the makeup looks when I was a kid. I always wanted to try and replicate them. And um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it kind of feels a bit like I'm doing that right now. It's fun though. I like this. What's interesting though is um, what am I going to do with my lips? I have a great idea. I have blue liquid lipstick we're gonna do this and then do some kind of brush strokes around the lips and stuff and see where it goes from there this tends to be a really good li 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 liquid lipstick i can't speak that's not really prone to feathering it's a um i heart revolution one in the shade um galaxy and it's absolutely beautiful and stunning and uh dries very quick it's very long lasting beautiful bold color again cruelty free big big fan of this. I have this same liquid lipstick in like five different colours including like a gorgeous gold metallic one, some black glittery ones, everything. They're, they're beautiful. Anyway, where I was at talking about like the pride and stuff. Um, it's actually quite funny because um, the last like, kind of just happened gradually over the last couple of years but it's funny because the actor who played my favourite character on there when I was growing up, um, me and him actually became really really good like friends over Instagram and um, we, we talk quite regularly now and he calls me up a lot and he's a lovely, lovely guy. But he was also like probably one of my first ever crushes, like one of my earliest crushes and he knows this and he mocks me for it. Um, <laughs> anyway, but it's weird now because watching it back and knowing him like I do, I don't actually like his character as much anymore on there because weirdly I can see like the difference between him as a person and the character now and the character flaws become a lot more apparent for some reason and his like personality feels like a very separate and much nicer part of him if that makes sense. I, d d I don't know if that makes sense. Um, also I was probably just very taken in by a pretty face when I was younger so there's that. <laughs> All right what am I doing with this? What should I do around the lips? I'm gonna try some like feathering and stuff around here and some brush marks but I don't know if it's gonna work so worst case we take it off and start again right? I'm thinking maybe like blue on this side flaring out and then white on this side flaring out. I don't know, we'll see. Let's just make it up as we go along, eh, cubes? Yeah. But anyway, as well as just like kind of like a mention of the tribe, there was, I think, a point to where I was going with that. Um, I'm just gonna try and mix some blue and black on my hand here a little bit to see if I can get a slightly darker blue. Don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. I'm worried it's a little joker. Nah, be fine, be fine. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Anyway, I guess what I was thinking and where I was trying to go with this is that like, 
it's made me real a hell realize a hell of a lot about how there's so much when you only watch people and obviously you get this on youtube but you also get it with like musicians and actors and stuff as well and i i know it's stayed in the office but like sometimes yes yes love you sometimes you forget that people have these like other sides to them that aren't public and that a lot of the time the other sides that people hiding aren't always these like big bad demon sides like a lot of people maybe want to think or just assume or something like that like a lot of the time people might be hiding like perfectly good nice lovely stuff about them just not everyone has the energy to make everything public or not everyone wants to make everything public and I think that's important to remember just because maybe you see or don't see your favorite youtuber maybe covering a topic that's important to you or something that doesn't mean they don't care about it and it doesn't mean they won't cover it in future. And it's easy to look at kind of certain things and say, well, if you have X platform, you should talk about X, Y, and Z. Otherwise, you know, you're not making the most of it. Otherwise, you're being irresponsible, you know, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that's true to some extent. But at the same time, everyone's also human. And you can't expect everyone to be like perfect and right and do the best possible thing all the time. Well, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Apparently there's being casual and natural and then there's just this. <laughs> oh. You have to remember a lot of the time that creators are human too and we can't just cover everything that we want to at a moment's notice. Sometimes life or whatever gets in the way, sometimes we have other things going on. Not, not a fan of this nose. <laughs> I feel like I just look a bit clown-like, don't I? I th oh my god, my mouth is clown-like as well. Maybe I'm just clown-like. Maybe that's just who I am. Should I just give up and just join a circus? Might be better. Hey. Okay. And of course, sometimes people may be too emotionally invested in something to want to speak about something publicly and, you know, get it out there. People deserve their privacy as well for whatever reasons and they don't always owe you an explanation. Okay, I'm going to try adding some mascara and see if this makes this any less clownish. I like it though, it's fun. I'm enjoying this actually. It's a good, good fun makeup look. It's turned out better than I expected it would. Actually, I'm lying. Um, this is not a cruelty-free makeup, but I ran out of mascara while I was um, staying with my parents and this was the only one that the shop near them had. I needed a replacement, so now I've bought it, I might as well use it, you know? It's not the best though, it goes a little clumpy. Like now, I just have clumpy spider lashes. Hi baby, you sleepy. I know a little girl who's getting ready for bed. Yeah, you're grumpy with me because you want to go to bed, don't you? Yes, you do. I know, such a little angel. Do you think mama looks silly? Is that what you're looking at? Do you want to lick all the makeup off my face? Yeah. Love you. Mwah. I do worry sometimes about the amount of makeup she's accidentally eaten when she starts licking my face and I'm like, no, Kubi, stop. And she doesn't because she's a Kubi. All right, serious question. What do we think? Maybe to counteract this like very jokery dark blue bit here, I should bring this bit down a bit more and make it darker blue. I say you're doing something that could potentially ruin this entire thing. Add in a tiny bit of black as well. Maybe now it needs some white. Alternatively, maybe now I'm ruining it. I'm overthinking again. I'm overthinking the makeup. This is what I do. I overthink and I ruin things. Literally like everything in my life. <laughs> I hate this. I have. I've ruined it. Okay. Again, we take it off. We start again. This is what we do. But, you know, good lesson here. You know, when something isn't working, don't be afraid to start all over again and make it better. Don't just settle for what you have, you know? If it's not making you happy, change it. Good, good lesson for life there. And it's something that I've always tried to live by. It's why I changed my course at uni. It's why I scrapped video ideas that aren't working. It's, it's hard to stick to sometimes. It's hard to do it. But I'm going to keep trying anyway. I think often it's better to try 
and fail and start again than it is to just stagnate. For me, stagnating is like the scariest thing in life. That's one thing I don't ever want to do. At least when you're failing, you're changing, you're growing, you're moving, you're evolving in some way. You have the opportunity to get better from there. But when you are stuck, when you don't try anything, when you stagnate, that's, that's when there's an issue, isn't there? It's going to sound awful, but my parents definitely have always stagnated. My mum did the same job from when she was 15 up until when she retired, like, two months ago or something. And um, I don't know if she was happy in that job exactly. She did it. But I can't imagine being stuck in the same place when I'm in my 60s as I was when I was 15. The idea of that terrifies me and I just, I don't, I know it sounds horrible, but I don't ever want that to be me. There you go, something more subtle, but I think it works. I like this. All right, I am gonna go and take some photos of this and um, I will show you the finished look when the photos are done. I'll post them on the end of this video. I know this was a bit weird and rambly and all over the place, um, but I know, I, I, I guess I just kind of wanted to talk and chat, share some thoughts, some feelings, just, I don't know, have a think to myself about where I'm at and try out a cool makeup look in the process. Um, hopefully I will do an even better version of this at some point and do a cool photo shoot with Johnny. But for now, I'm just going to go take some little self-portraits of this myself to, you know, remember it by. Um, but thanks for watching today. Thanks for sticking around. I've got some hopefully good videos coming up that I'm working on that I'm really pleased with how they're going so far. But again, we'll see what happens to them, won't we? But for now, I guess I just want to say... Uh, thank you for watching today. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for supporting me and giving me the opportunity to do fun little projects like this that are very different from what I normally do. And yeah, I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye.